Hey guys, this is Yoga Pose of the Week number 34. The number is just getting so high, it's ridiculous. <laughs> and this week we are doing Goddess Pose. So this is a intense squat. Um, I'm going to show you a beginner variation for it that can help you start to get comfortable warming up and getting used to how this pose feels. I have a bunch of fun, more advanced variations. Um, the variations really, for the most part, are just different arm positions. It's really pretty much the same um, no matter what, so that's really the only way to change it up. It's not too complex of a pose. It stretches out, obviously, if it works your legs, it works um, the hips and the groin, and it stretches out the inner thighs, so it's really, and, and it works on your quads, it's strengthening all the parts of the legs and the upper legs. Um, and it's really great, really great for your core as well. So, all right, enough intro, let's get to it. So, you wanna step your feet pretty wide apart, turn the toes out to a 45 degree angle. You can go wider than that. It's wherever you feel the most stable. When I start to turn mine out, um, a whole lot more than that. See, I start to lose my balance. So wherever feels good for you, okay. And then you start. You want to tuck your tailbone under, but you're gonna lower into squat. So you can stay up here and you know raise the arms. Sometimes people put their legs in closer together and you know do a much. Um, I was gonna say narrower. Yeah, it's narrower. Put a uh, higher squat, you know, so just work on tucking the tailbone under here, okay? So that's the beginner. Now you know me, love to go crazy, love to go advanced. <laughs> no matter how much it burns, this is going to burn, much like chair pose. Goddess burns. Alright, so my feet are wide and Sink in. Now you can do anything you want really with your arms here. You can up, prayer, you can go evil. Okay. You can do bound. Don't I make getting into bound look fun? Ugh. Okay. <sighs> make sure keeping the torso upright. You don't want to be flopping forward here. Okay. You can do side bend. And I need to come out of it before I show you some more. Ugh. It's very challenging, so <laughs> I am going to have to get in and out of it because it burns too greatly for me to hold proper form. You should really only hold it for 30 seconds to a minute, and that's probably more than 30 seconds. Alright, so get back into it. Just a few second breather. So again, feet wide, wider than hips. Wider than your hips. 45 degree angle. Or you can go a little bit wider. Just make sure your knees are going out. Don't let them round or turn inward. Okay. So you can also hands on the thighs. Okay. And then forward and revolve. This one is just the one that makes a pretty shape, <laughs> pretty shape for your Instagram photos, it's challenging, oh, okay, and then there is the tiptoe variation, that really, <laughs> if this is hard, that really brings up the challenge. Okay, so 
45 degrees or wider or yeah <laughs> or further see make me fall all right so it's easier I think to put down then lift the toes and then you can come forward play with hand positions oh okay come back up and I just found this fun one this half bound variation so I'm put forearm down Reach up. Other side. Ooh, feeling the burn. Ugh. Oh, that's very, very challenging. I may be showing these, but I am not a pro at this. That is challenging for me. Okay, I think I have one last one to show you, yeah, this is no big deal. Um, but, another one, just looks nice. It's a great shoulder stretch though, so, I'm gonna come into it again. Okay. Prayer. If I can manage. Okay. <laughs> Probably not the prettiest after doing 20 other variations. But there we have it. Practice not perfect. Alright, so <laughs> my inner thighs are really feeling the burn, really feeling the stretch. Leave me a comment, let me know how this felt for you. If you already practiced this pose, um, if you enjoyed any of those different variations that I just showed, I think they're fun. It's fun to try things in a different way, to just mix it up and keep it interesting. And to work more parts of the body than you would expect to in a pose like Goddess. You know, it's, it's good and I think fun to get more muscle groups involved, make it that much more challenging. I love a challenge. I hope you do too. Leave me a comment and let me know like, subscribe, and share. Please subscribe and help me get to 100 subscribers on here so I can be jickety jack just like I am on Instagram and Facebook where you can follow me for the latest updates of what's going on with me. Come to jickityjack.com for full workouts, yoga routines, short, long, recipes, nutrition, fitness, health. I have so much more good stuff coming. I'm making meal plans. Those will be available soon. Um, offering going to be offering personal training services, so much more good stuff. Let me know what else you want to see from me and we can make that happen. I have so much that I want to help you guys with and to share with you. So let me know what you're interested in, okay? <laughs> and if you're on Patreon, become a patron for as little as a dollar a month to help me keep making more and more and more of these videos for you guys. I love doing this. It's so much fun for me and I hope you like it too, all right? Thanks for your support, guys. Have a good week.